What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles out of Holiday World in Dallas, Texas. As you can hear, it is super windy here in Dallas today, so I'm gonna get right into this thing. But we are looking at a Montana 377 FL. It is probably Montana's most unique floor plan, being that it is a front living, has a full ceiling height bathroom, has a loft over the main bedroom, and has a step down into the main bedroom. So a lot of really unique things about it. We're gonna take a look at all of it. Let's go. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you get something out of it, consider hitting that like button down below and definitely that subscribe button. Become a part of this growing community of RVers all around the world. Then if you want to connect with me in other places, links to my social media like Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, all that will be down below in the description. And finally, I know there was some confusion because for y'all that have been following me for a while, you know I went to an internet sales position where I couldn't actually help out customers in the store. Well, that's not the case anymore. I am back in sales. So if you come to Holiday World or if you give us a call, my contact information is in the description down below and at the end of the video. But if you come into Holiday World, ask for me. Or if you call, ask for me because I would love to help you out. I'm back in a sales position so I can be the one to assist you in helping you find your next RV. Now, as we get into this video, this is going to be a little bit different than normal because it was so windy. So I have to do a voiceover and I'm going to try to make this as smooth as possible. But we're looking at the Montana High Country 377 FL. It is a 2022 model. You see the floor plan layout here. It is really unique. It's a front living with a loft over the bedroom. And you see, like, look at your freshwater tank size. I want to point that out real quick. 87 gallons. Pretty dang impressive. And then this is about 42 feet long. It's going to be th about 13,300 pounds. You can see here with the slide out locations, you have a pretty unique design. You can tell already just by seeing the slide outs that it's not a traditional fifth wheel. And then this is your 2021 color scheme. So you can see the different graphic designs for 2022. I definitely like the improvements to the 2022 design on the exterior. You let me know down below in the comments what you think, but I think it looks much improved from the 2021 design a little bit more sporty on the front end and that front cap just looks amazing so definitely want to point out those differences between the 2021 and 2022 graphics because i think it makes a big improvement to this montana high country product that brings me to the point that we are looking at a montana high country which is the little brother to montana so montana has two different lines some people get them confused because high country in you know when you look at something like a car that usually is an elevated you know package but this here is a little brother to the montana so we'll talk more about that in a little bit two entrances into this fifth wheel so you have an entrance on each side which is crazy very unique and something that you hardly ever see this is definitely the only montana line or product floor plan that's the word i was looking for that has an entrance on both sides of the rv and i might be the only keystone trailer in general that has an entrance on both sides now how they make this floor plan possible you're looking underneath here you see you have the drop frame construction which you have on all full profile fifth wheels which is what we're looking at here a full profile fifth wheel but to get the particular layout that they have in this floor plan with the loft over the bedroom in the back here they drop the frame in the back as well so this is going to be similar to the keystone avalanche 390 ds if you've seen that video before dropping the frame in the back another change that they made for 2022 is slanting off this back end of that frame so that you still get the clearance along the back side if you're dealing with slopes or going up a driveway or anything like that so you won't have too much to be worried about there but they do drop this frame which allows this floor plan to be possible giving you the size loft that you have over the bedroom and then this is your bedroom slide right here so this is as you can see a pretty unique looking slide out box but your bedroom your king size bed is going to be in that slide out and you have the loft overhead we'll look at that more in depth when we go inside obviously but definitely a unique look out here now we're going to get into some of the different construction elements of this fifth wheel you're going to have 12 inch i-beam frames here so that is what we're looking at underneath here and then you're going to have 7,000 pound dexter gladiator thick wall axles so they'll both be rated for 7,000 pounds on the axles you have f-rated tires they are really solid feeling tires um just from rubbing my hands over them stuff like that they are a really quality tire but the great thing about this as well is the wheels that they use on this montana high country are the same wheels you can use for a g-rated tire so if you wanted to upgrade to an even more durable tire and a g-rated tire the wheels that you need are already there you wouldn't have to replace those as well which is not the case all the time so 
that is something nice to see then you have the road armor suspension here road armor is going to be one of the best suspension systems coming out of the factory the reason why you have these four rubber gaskets around there those are going to absorb a lot of your shock as you're going up and down the road and it's going to give you six inches of travel so you have three inches of travel up and three inches of travel down which is going to be more than anything else out there pretty much everything else out there is going to only give you three inches of travel so that's why they use this road armor suspension giving you that six inches of travel as you're going up and down the road making sure that you're getting the most comfortable towing experience possible so that's something that you'll see on every montana high country product coming under here as well you have your spare tire underneath this spot so it slides out that rack there basically will slide out so you can access that spare tire and they put it here instead of on the back because there is not a hitch back there and so they put it underneath there it also helps with weight distribution not having added weight on the back as you can see here you have these solid steps so that'll be on both entrances both on this side and on the other side and what's really nice about these is they're strut assisted so they're going to have that basically that strut there to catch the weight it took me a second here to get it to actually demonstrate properly but you can see it kind of came down slow i'm gonna lift it up again and lift it up a little bit higher as you'll see it'll actually catch in place there so what this is demonstrating is if you're pulling this step out of the entry door it's not gonna fall on your head because it is a bit of a heavy step when you don't have that strut assist but it's not going to fall on your head having that so just peace of mind there this is a really nice touch too that they've made in these steps where you have this little latch there that you just push in that's going to allow you to adjust the length of the legs before it was a pull pin that was just kind of annoying to try to deal with so you don't have to worry about that anymore it's a much easier system so really like that improvement and then you're going to have the screen assist as well that little arm there to help detach your screen from the main door this is your pass through storage compartment so it's going to be straight through all the way and then you're going to see your aluminum framing up above looking at that framing with keystone whenever they do aluminum framing on any of their trailers they are welded on both sides of the frame not every manufacturer can say that there are some manufacturers where they only weld one side of the frame because it saves time not keystone they don't shortcut that and make sure you're getting a real solid construction on your framing there also you see this is a sub flooring there i point this out because it is wrapped so you have a wrapped sub flooring there's a lot of trailers you look at where that is just exposed wood not in the keystone montana high country you have that wrapped underneath there so you know that your flooring is protected and it's pretty crazy to see the amount of rvs that are in this price point that don't have a, a protected or wrapped flooring so definitely something that's nice to see you have 30 gallon propane bottles one on this side and one on the other side the reason they put one on this side and one on the other side is because it allows you to have the same size doors going into your pass-through storage so you don't have a lopsided pass-through storage and you have the same size entry doors into both sides um, if they put both propane bottles on one side then you would have to have a smaller pass-through entry door on one of the sides so that's why they don't do that this is also going to have the road armor pin box now this road armor pin box has this rubber gasket here so that's going to absorb a lot of your chucking as you're going up and down the road it will pivot back and forth like this here so as you're braking and accelerating it's going to absorb a lot of that shock there in addition to this a lot of people have been going to towing with this reese goose box this is actually what my family tows with here and this is the biggest benefit to this is you don't need a fifth wheel hitch so if you tow with something like this reese goose box here it will replace the pin box that comes on the trailer from the factory and it'll just hook up to a ball in the truck so when you're done towing you detach from that ball and then you just flip the ball down and you have full access to the bed of your truck you're going to have your light here where this will shine down onto the hitch so if you are setting up you know at times where it's later at night or whatever you're going to be able to see you have the patented hitch vision there so you can see into the bed of your truck as you're backing up and then another thing you have your docking lights here so those are your well, i guess your safety lights you'll have two led light strips there and then a big led light strip across the top coming into this compartment here is going to be a larger size storage compartment all through here so you have a big wide open space there and then next to it will be your battery terminal you also have your solar charge controller that will be working in unison with the solar panel on the roof that will maintain your battery charge and make sure it doesn't overcharge and you have your 2000 watt inverter there as well working with your residential refrigerator so that'll be your whole compartment in this area you also see the blue hose there that'll be a 25 foot hose that will connect to the external shower and your water hookups which we'll look at in just a second as we come to this side of the rv you're going to have your leveling system here it is an electric leveling system and i point this out because a lot of people look at this and they think it's not auto leveling but it is 
basically when you get to your campsite what you're gonna do is you'll pull this pin you'll have the legs up at the highest position but then you'll pull this pin and when you pull that you'll get the legs down to about half an inch or so off the ground or off whatever surface you're you know wanting it to be on and then you'll get into this compartment here and that is where you will have your settings for making those legs go down the rest of the way and then getting the unit to the height that you need it at so it is still a full auto leveling system and with the montana high country all the units over 37 feet will have six leveling jacks so there will be six jacks on this one so you'll have four in front of the axles and then two more behind the axles here you see your additional 30 gallon propane bottle there as well then we'll open this compartment here where we'll be able to get into the pass-through storage from this side and see all the water hookups so you see you have a straight through pass-through storage you're also going to have your outlets here to the right and you have tv hookups so you can put a tv on a sliding rack that basically sits flush with the wall and you can pull the tv out on that rack here you have your water hookups you have the external shower where that blue hose will hook up just like i was talking about you have a solar plug there so if you did want to get an additional solar panel and plug it in there it is all pre-wired to so the battery going to that spot there this is key tv key tv we've talked about quite a bit but basically the biggest thing is this blue cable there is already wired all the way up to the roof so if you did put a satellite on the roof the hardest part of that job the wiring job is already done saving you money and then key tv we talk about quite a bit it's just a plug and play system making setting up your tvs to have their own individual channels and cable very very easy all your water hookups will be in there you have this spot down in the bottom so your hoses can come up through there and you can keep your pass-through storage compartment closed when you're hooked up to water and that's pretty much everything in this compartment you also have a motion activated light so when you have that turned on once you open the door it will come on automatically so you don't have to hassle with anything underneath here conveniently placed you have your sewer hose storage compartments so right by where you're going to want them you can store your sewer hoses there and they have a designated space for that as well now looking at the slide out boxes here a couple different things to point out first of all they are a rack and pin style slide out box they are electric slide out boxes and the construction of these is crazy it is so solid underneath there super super sturdy i mean i'm amazed at how solid it feels when you hit that and then they have a dual layer floor so you have an insulation layer between those two layers of flooring and you have astrofoil insulation is there in there as well so very good slide out insulation that you have on all of your slide outs in these trailers and they're going to be rated down to zero degrees so it is a unit that could be lived in full time and will have the capabilities of getting you to comfortable temperatures if you are in extreme elements so something that you have there that is not across the board and everything that's in this realm but that dual layer floor with the insulation and the slide out definitely a big deal and you will have that in all the slide outs coming over here again pretty insane that you have an entrance on this side of the rv you're also going to have your dump station right below those steps right there which i do point out a little bit later as well but you'll have your second entrance there your electrical plug right here as well and your water or your dump station hookups right there now coming around to the back of this side you're going to have a couple different storage compartments and as part of the insulation package you have a double laminated and insulated rear wall back here so it's a really thick rear wall this storage compartment is going to be underneath the wardrobe storage that you have on this back wall inside it's a little bit of a shallow storage compartment but a decent size and then you have these clips here these are new for 2022 where you can see as i shake that it holds it in place and then you have to pull that latch there so it will drop down so in addition to them being magnet latches you will have that as well to keep it up in place and then you will have metal door latches there so those are basically going to be like the same type of latches you would have on a you know big expensive motorhome but really solid latches we're going to go up on the roof and take a look at that real quick but before we get there i forgot you have reverse lights on here so this is something you don't see on a whole lot of trailers surprisingly but the reverse lights obviously i'm sure you can think of many times where you may be backing up your rv and you want the person behind you to know that you're backing up so you will have those reverse lights on this montana high country and that is something that not everything has now we're going to go up here on the roof and taking a look at the roof there's a couple different things that we're going to look at First of all, you have the Coleman Mach Q series ACs. Um, Keystone has been going to this in pretty much everything. So it's a more efficient AC unit. Um, it's basically using a lot less power to get the same or better output. And it is very quiet. So it's going to be about 12 decibels quieter than your traditional AC unit, which is why they've been using it. So you will see that across the board on most of the Keystone products. And then 
you're gonna have two attic vents here so these are going to be places where the air in the attic can escape underneath here you have a five inch cavity that your ac ducting is running through a lot of your electrical wiring is running through so you will have that attic space there with vents to make sure that hot air because hot air rises can get out of that space it's a fully walkable roof and you have fully walkable slide out boxes as well so everything about the construction up here is very solid and sturdy and then you have the 200 watt solar panel that is coming standard across the board for every single keystone trailer from their most entry level stuff all the way up through their most expensive stuff you're going to have that 200 watt solar panel coming standard that is an expandable system as well so if you wanted to add more solar panels uh more powerful inverters stuff like that that can be added on as well so we're gonna hop back down you see here in this slide out again this is where your bed is at you're gonna have this storage compartment underneath there so that will be underneath your bed same thing you have the same latch system on this compartment door as well plus you have these metal parts right here which would allow you to put a assisted strut there that will hold the door up almost at a 90 degree angle if you wanted to have a setup like that um, I don't see why most people would feel the need necessarily to add that but it is the option there if you did want to put those gas struts there to hold it up as well um, you're going to have a 12 gallon gas electric water heater so again something in this price point a lot of times you'll see either like a six or a 10 gallon water heater but you're going to have a 12 gallon water heater in this montana high country so you'll be able to take nice long showers in there you have your awning that runs all the way across this whole area here your outside speakers i wish i could have put the awning out for you to see but it was so windy that thing might have ripped right off immediately so couldn't do that you have the led light strip underneath here so the biggest thing about that is you get access to those led lights even with the awning in so whether the awning's in or out you can see them and this is going to bring us to the portion where i talk about where i'm filming this at because i'm currently standing in our campground at our facilities and yes that is correct i said campground at my dealership we have a campground you can see we have a gate coming in and out of here so if you are a customer of ours you can stay here for free we give you the combination to the gate there so you can come and go as you please and how most people use this space is after they first buy their rv they'll stay a day or two with us just to get comfortable with it especially now that there's so many of y'all that are reaching out to me from other states and whatnot even my dad purchased an rv for me from colorado this is an awesome opportunity for y'all to make a trip out of coming to dallas to buy your rv where you can stay here in our spot here and get hooked up spend some time in your rv get comfortable with it before you take it back home plus if anything was not working properly or not how you needed it to be we're right here we can jump on it get it fixed for you if you don't know how to do something we're right here and can show you so really awesome what we're able to offer here and another way that is used that is a really big deal is if you are living in your rv and you need to bring it in for service what we can do is we can actually get you set up in our campground so you don't have to get a hotel so you bring it here we can work on it during the day and then set it up here in the campground at night so you can still stay in it while you're getting service work done you can see like i'm showing here we'll take it over to the service side during the day and then at night we'll put it right back here for you get it all hooked up so that you can still stay in it you don't have to worry about getting a hotel or finding a family member to stay with or anything like that if you're living in your rv trying to make it as easy for you as possible as an rv owner to have the best rving experience in this campground is a huge reason why we have a 4.9 star rating on google with over 1100 reviews and i told you we would get to this point again this is going to be where your dump station's at so you have this little flap that opens up there where your pull knobs are going to be for your black and gray tank obviously when you're traveling this step will be up in the unit so you won't have that in the way and then your dump valve is going to be right there so you will have that compartment there and then finally we are going to step inside this rv we're going to step in from this entrance on the opposite side of what your campsite would be just so we can get that look and then we are finally going to be able to end the voiceover process get back to how it normally sounds as soon as i step inside here in three two one and we are currently standing right next to the bathroom but we are going to go into the kitchen area here where you have this beautifully laid out kitchen as you can see now you can finally hear my voice i'll be talking normal for the rest of the video for the most part no more voicing over or anything like that so excited that <laughs> i can finally talk normal i know i was talking through the rest of the video but you might even be able to hear the wind as i'm standing in here it's so windy outside it's insane felt like i was gonna get blown off the top of this montana as i was standing on the roof but anyways 
gorgeous looking kitchen layout. The LED lights underneath the dinette booth are a really nice touch as well. Just giving it a really nice look. You obviously have the residential refrigerator here. 18 cubic foot GE refrigerator. One of my favorite things about the GE refrigerator is it has a water dispenser inside the door. So as you can see, we literally just got this thing in. The shelves aren't even set up yet. They haven't even came in and detailed it yet. I was just too excited to make the video. So here we are. You're gonna have your kitchen set up here and you have a residential oven. So that is one thing that is really exciting to see, especially in this price point in the Montana high country, having a residential oven here. It is a suburban oven and cooktop. And then you have this larger size cooktop there as well. Nice looking backsplashes underneath here as well. I think, I think this is different from last year. I can't remember, but I just like that they're framed out here so that you don't have them like peeling off the wall and stuff like that. Something you'll see in a lot of other manufacturers and whatnot. So like seeing that, you have solid surface countertops. So real solid and sturdy. And all throughout the kitchen here, you can see all the different storage. I'm gonna open this stuff up so you can really get a good feel for it. But just wanna give you a look of all the different kitchen storage you have just in this spot here alone. And then you have everything here as well. So if we open these up, these should all be the same size right here. They're gonna pull out that far. Let's just check and confirm. Second one, same size. Go down to the bottom, same size as well. So you'll have all those. Big storage compartment underneath here. This is where your sink covers are at as well and your trash can. So you'll have all that space under there. It is a 70-30 style sink setup where you have these stainless steel sinks. This is your bigger one, obviously. Then you have the smaller one over here. And then you'll have those um, covers for them that are the same material as the countertop. So it'll look really nice. Black faucet looks really good as well. Obviously this will pull down and wrap around. And then you have a window here, which I think is a really good touch. It just gives that extra added element of natural light into this kitchen space and gives it a really nice look with how they design these cabinets and stuff around that window. I think it looks really good. Up above, you're gonna have deep storage compartments all through here. Again, deep storage compartments all through there as well. And then this is going to go all the way back into there through all shell all three shelves and up there plus you do have a little gap between the ceiling and the top up there so if you did want to store some additional stuff up there with a step stool that you got to use to get up to it you can do that also so that's going to be all your storage compartments in this area if we're looking at outlets outlets you have one right here so easy to set up stuff in this area for entertaining and then you're gonna have another outlet back in this corner and it looks like that's gonna be it oh look at that wow see whenever i do these walkthroughs of these rvs <laughs> i pretty much try to get in here and shoot the content as quickly as possible so i give you like just a raw reaction to what i think of everything Stuff like that, I didn't even realize there's an LED light strip underneath the countertop here. So that looks really nice. You can see it also comes with these two bar stools. Um, but yeah, I didn't even know that LED light strip was there until just now. And you have more storage compartments over here also behind this bar stool. You can see you have those three shelves right there. So that could be multi-purpose use for sure. I think easiest application I see for that is probably having stuff that you want to have easy access to from outside that you can put in there. Going to the booth dinette, it's a pretty interesting setup that you have here. First of all, like I said, the LED lights are a very nice touch. And you have a big window here, big window there. All your windows are gonna have pull down blackout shades. So you will have that on all of your windows. And then with your booth dinette, basically you can see it is not legless because you have this one leg here, but there's not any legs in the middle of the table. So as far as where you're actually sitting, a lot of times you're gonna have that leg space that you're looking for. You can see you have two different brackets on the wall. So what'll happen is when you put this table down, which I'll do here in just a second so you can see what it looks like. When you put this table down, you're basically gonna, this leg right here will snap off. So if I lift, if I lift this up, which I just did a little bit and then lift it up straight. And there you go, if I lift this up, then I can flip this leg up and you'll see what that looks like in just a second. So as you can see here now, I disconnected that leg, hooked it up right there, and then I can put the table down. So I got that table in a down position now. You can see 
how it just basically went into those two brackets back there. And then you have the second leg right here that's gonna catch it when it comes down. So you have your bed set up like this. This is gonna be about a six foot long bed or so. I'm about six two and I just barely have to bend my legs to fit in that bed space there. So you will have that. Another nice touch I like that they did is they give you these flip up benches right here so you can access the storage and they are strut assisted. So it'll stay up on its own. I don't have to hold it. You can see it'll stay there on its own like that. And you can access that storage underneath on both sides. Get this bed back looking proper. Cool. All right. You have nice little light fixtures up above here as well. Looks nice. And overall the finishing through here looks really decent. It's a really good finish. It's, you know, not quite as elegant and elaborate as a full Montana but it definitely still feels like you're in a Montana. And I like that. I like that they, you know, give you a product where you don't feel too disconnected from what a full Montana would feel like. I do wanna show you in the freezer compartment as well, just let you get a look at that real quick. It is taped, but you do have an ice tray in there and you can see you have a two different tray system. So they haven't opened all that up yet, but let's look at all this storage here. I imagine most people will probably use this as like a pantry space, but who knows, everybody's a little bit different. You have all these different compartments here. This is gonna be your central vac hose there because you do have a central vac system. And this compartment goes all the way through. This one does not because you have your controls back behind there. This one goes all the way through and the bottom part does not. So now as far as your drawers and cabinets, everything in here feels real solid. It's, a, it's not all solid hardwood throughout the entire unit, but these doors here are a very solid feeling door and they're a I'm trying to remember the exact wood type give me just a second let me go look so per keystone's um, website it is a mystic ash cabinetry and doors that you have on there so it looks really nice and gives it a real clean look all throughout i like the color design that they do in here as well with the light cabinets black handles looks really good and i think that's everything here for this area while we're standing here though i will talk about the flooring as well a couple different aspects first of all Keystone uses or Montana uses what is called Dynaspan flooring. So what that is, is it is a single piece subflooring underneath here. Basically your subflooring is all one piece. So there's no seams anywhere. There's a bunch of brands that I've been in before where you're walking through them, especially something pre-owned that's a few years old and you step down and you can actually feel where the seam is at in the flooring. And you can tell where they took two pieces of subflooring and connected them together. You won't have that in here because it is a seamless one piece floor. And it is essentially basically like what you would use in a boat as it is a marine grade flooring that is completely water resistant. So if you were to pour water on it, it would just bubble up or beat up on there and never absorb into that flooring. Comes with a 25 year warranty. And the craziest thing is Keystone has never had a warranty claim on this flooring. So pretty remarkable there. Really, really good flooring that you got in here. And if you know anything about RVs, if you get water damage or soft spots in the flooring, that is going to significantly devalue your coach. And that shouldn't happen here in this Montana with that flooring that they use. Also with your heating system, you can see the heat ducts run through the flooring. So just like in your home, and you have smaller vents here. I like that they use a smaller vent cap. So not as much room for stuff to fall in there. I know some people don't like the floor vents, but this is the most efficient heating system that you can get in an RV. If you have heat vents coming out of the drawers or out of the cabinets, I mean, there's three different things going on. First of all, you have a longer path of travel that the air has to go through to get out, which means you're gonna have less efficient airflow. Two, you're going to have to take up some space to have those vents running through your cabinetry, which is going to take up some space in there. And then three, heat rises. So since you have the heat running through the flooring, you're having the heat start at the lowest point of the trailer instead of starting 10 to 12 inches higher and you know missing out on elements of efficiency there with your heating system. So Keystone has done this heating through the flooring in their Montana. They always have, I'm pretty sure, and I'm pretty certain they always will because it's the most efficient system and they are more concerned about being efficient than anything else. As we go up into the living area, you can see here the only place you're gonna have carpet is in little areas like this, but there is no carpet here on the flooring. So as we step up into here, you're gonna have two sofas that will pull out into beds and 
as I'm walking around here, I want to point out the ceiling height in here is about six foot. Uh, I think it's like six, six in here. Yeah, I'm six, two, and I definitely have about four inches of clearance. So it's about six, six with your AC here. A lot of people get concerned because they don't see the whisper quiet AC system. As I talked about on the roof, this is 12 decibels quieter than your standard AC system. And it is more efficient than the whisper quiet AC system. Plus, it is now coming with this MERV 9 filter up in here. Basically, I don't know exactly what MERV 9 means. I do know that this is like a residential grade filter that you have in here. So it is going to filter out things as small as dust particles, dead skin cells, all that kind of stuff. More than just filtering out like your pet hair, which is really kind of what the filters were on the um, Whisper Quiet AC system. Definitely not nearly as efficient as the filters in here. So that's an upgrade for sure that they added for 2022. You have a retractable TV, so you can see it in the up position right there, but you have a switch right here that will put it down. So when you put this down, you get access to obviously having your windshield here, letting in more natural light, giving you a view. I know there's lots of different campsites and whatnot across the country where you can have a really cool view out this front windshield. So it's very nice to have. As that goes down, it'll look really clean up here and you could use this space for different things. And you will have a pull down blackout shade for this windshield as well if you do want that for added privacy. And get it to go back up. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we'll leave that in the down position for right now. You have a fireplace up here. Now this fireplace does put out heat. So this is going to be a great electric heat source for you. In addition to this being an electric heat source, I forgot to mention, your AC up here also has a heat pump in it. So you can get heat from this AC system as well. So you're gonna have both of these uh, sources to get electric heat from so you don't have to use propane. And then your furnace obviously will be propane for that. But you have different fire color controls. This one has three. So you have the blue, the red, and the orange. So you have those three different controls. You can set the temperature to what you want it at and how warm you want it to be. And then a real clean, nice looking, you know, setup right here. I really like how nice it looks. It's a good look. And then up in here, let's see, this opens down. So you'll have your hookups in here for all your sound controls and everything like that. More space here to put different components. And if you need to run wiring to the TV, it'll go back through that hole right there. You have your speakers here for your sound system coming right at you. And then up here, if you wanted to put a Wi-Fi router in here, this basically, this cap, all the wiring for a Wi-Fi router is right up behind it. So this cap would come off, the Wi-Fi router would replace it and plug into the wiring there and secure to the ceiling of your RV. So that's where that will go if you want to get Wi-Fi accessibility. And then you'll have all this storage around your TV setup. This storage is gonna be the same on the other side. Then you'll have these small compartments down in here so those will be your storage aspects up here. I mean, I could show you here. I think pretty self-explanatory that it'll be the same size as the other side as well though. Then you're gonna have your Thomas Payne recliners. So these are going to be power recliners. You're gonna have your different controls right here plus your USB ports. So this'll make your recliner go up just like that. And let's see, we'll put it all the way back so we can see exactly where it goes to. Boom, right there. So you can see it lays back pretty dang far. You do have clearance to put the recliner out with the sofa and it's all gonna be powered. Put this back down so then we can pull the beds out and give you a look at what the beds look like when they are out in the out position. So that's your recliner setup, and let's put these beds out. So in this Montana high country, you actually have both beds touching here. These are gonna, they look to me to be queen size beds just about when you pull these out and they touch together here. There is maybe the slightest little gap between them, but they basically come together in this space. So you get one giant bed. I'm sure you can see all kinds of applications, how kids would love this. So a pretty neat setup there. And definitely even for someone like me that's 6'2", I mean, could very easily and comfortably sleep here, even though there are better sleeping options as we get to the back of the trailer, which we'll look at in just a second. But that's everything in the front setup here. I'm just gonna leave this how it is for now. 
Um, we pretty much looked at everything else. You can see I just threw all the cushions to the side here. But coming back down, you have a handrail coming down the steps as well. So that is a nice feature to point out. Plus you have your motion activated lights as you walk throughout this RV. Want to talk about this flooring real quick in the slide out because we talked about the insulation on the outside when we were looking at the slide out. But looking at this flooring, this is a PVC woven flooring that they use here. So it's not carpet. It is like a, it's hard to, it's almost like a, almost feels like plasticky, I guess, but it's very flexible. So that's one advantage to it. One, it's flexibility. Also, this flooring is going to really maintain its shape. I've seen some flooring where it like creates a lip over time. That shouldn't happen with this flooring with how flexible it is and how, um, how well it maneuvers and whatnot. And then when you lift it up, you can see it's actually a, a multi-layered flooring. So you have a carpeting layer underneath here. So you're really getting three different layers of protection in your slide out because it's gonna be hard for any moisture and liquids to penetrate this woven material. Then it would have to go through this carpeting material as well. Then you have your wrapped flooring underneath here. So the flooring being wrapped is gonna be another layer of protection going to that flooring. So you have all those different layers of protection making sure that you don't have damage to the flooring of your slide out in that regard. So definitely wanna point that out in that aspect of this trailer as well. I was just looking here too while we're at the booth dinette, you do have an outlet back here. So I don't think I mentioned that earlier, wanted to make sure you see that. And in the kitchen, two aspects I forgot to point out as well. You have a ceiling fan and you have your vent fan as well. So your vent fan controls, this will be one that has the rain sensor, it's the max air fan. So if it starts raining, it'll close on its own and your controls for it will be right here. Also want to point out with your ducting in the AC system, you can see your AC unit up here. You have ducting coming out of both sides of the AC. So it'll be running down both sides of the trailer. It is ducted to the other AC that is back this way in the bedroom. So those will both be ducted together, running on somewhat of like a racetrack system here. And, um, oh, the blade vents, sorry. I was trying to figure out where I was going with that. The blade vents here, these are pushing air out in a 360 degree motion. Keystone went to these last year and they've been really, really efficient. Definitely more efficient than the directional vents they were using prior. Basically, these are allowing the air to get pushed out evenly and properly dispersed across your RV. And it'll essentially be taking the air and pushing it down. So it'll be cooling your RV from the top down as you know, heat rises. So it's gonna be attacking that you know, hottest part of the trailer first. And Keystone has found out their engineering and all their testing that these are cooling RVs down about 20% faster than the traditional directional vents. So that's something that we're seeing pretty much across the board now in Keystone trailers. Now, here's where things get really fun with this floor plan. As you can see, there are no steps up into this back area here. And as I walk back here, your bathroom is gonna to be to the left. And because there's no steps up into this area, you get an amazing ceiling height in this bathroom. You could be like eight feet tall and shower in this shower. So I love to see that. I know there's so many people looking for a shower that accommodates to tall people. This is certainly it, giving you that setup there. And then you're gonna have your sink right next to it, black appliances. So you'll have the black faucets, um, black shower head, all that. And there's your medicine cabinet storage. You have three drawers in this setup here. So they'll all be the same size. And then you'll have your storage underneath the sink as well. But really not a whole lot getting in the way, which is nice to see. It is gonna be a porcelain toilet. So it is a porcelain Dometic toilet, which is gonna be a high grade toilet that you get here. The nice thing about this as well is this is basically just a residential style toilet. So you can get any size toilet seat. Like if you wanted to replace the toilet seat on here, you could just go to Home Depot and get a toilet seat and be able to replace it on there. So that is something that's really nice about that toilet as well that you can do. And then finally on this back wall, you have your towel rack here. So you'll have three, well really six different hooks for this towel rack that you'll be able to put your towels on and whatnot. That's pretty much it for this area. Now things are gonna continue to keep getting cooler. You can see we have some steps here going to the left. You have steps down into this bedroom, motion activated lights there as well. Nice little handle here to hold as we walk up these stairs into this amazing loft space that you have up here. 
So I definitely need to go get my tripod so I could show you how much space is in here because I'm 6'2 and I want to show you how much room I have to just roll around up here and mess around. So let me go get my tripod and show you, give you a good feel for what this space actually looks and feels like. So a lot of y'all have probably saw my video on the Avalanche 390DS. This loft here, I don't have a tape measure on me, but just seeing how I fit in here, it feels pretty dang close to the size of the 390DS. Um, I remember, I know the ceiling height is not quite as high because in the 390DS I could sit like this and my head wasn't hitting the ceiling. The 390DS was about 33 inches tall. My guess would be this is probably about 28 to 30 inches tall. Probably has about three to five inches of a difference there. Probably closer to three. So I, would be, I wouldn't be surprised if this was about 30 inches. But if you see here, I can still crawl on all fours being a 6'2 male and have no problem getting around so i like that nothing is more annoying than a loft where you have to army crawl and there's just all different kinds of ways that you can lay around here and hang out and it's such a big space i mean you could do uh, one full roll and another half roll basically almost before you hit this wall plus you have all this additional space here it's a phenomenal space it is so much fun i mean if i even being my age being a grown adult I would enjoy staying up here. I would definitely make fun out of it. And I'm sure kids will absolutely love this space. So really cool, you have your AC system right up here. So you have your ducting here to keep this area cool. And then pretty interesting how they are able to get this ducting down into the bedroom below you as well. But you do have AC vents down in the bedroom below as well. We are sitting right above the bedroom and you have two windows up here, outlets and USB ports in each corner. And then you have your lights right here as well, four lights. And I think that's everything, a light switch here for the lights. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Blackout shades on both windows so you can black it out. And if you really wanted to, you could probably even get like one of those mattresses that comes in a, you know, wrapped up and open it up in this space if you wanted to. But shoot, for me being, if, I, if it was me being a kid, this mattress would be more than enough for me to be happy. So yeah, that's basically it. Oh, also, on this back wall over here, let me disconnect this so you can see. Uh, okay. If you wanted to put a TV, you can put a TV on this wall right there. Your hookups are right there for a TV. So you can put a TV in this corner. I literally think this RV is about to blow over with how windy it is out there. It is insane. But you can put a TV in this corner and be good to go for all your entertainment needs. You have a nice rail here as well for safety and then you have this pocket right here with steps going down into the main bedroom where we have this drop frame construction which means we're going to be stepping down into the bedroom you have a step here and then you are going to have a king size bed you can option in a queen if you want but this is a king size bed that we're looking at here some of the changes for 2022 you have the nightstands over the bed now and you're gonna have your outlets right next to it plus your usb ports up there as well but you're gonna have these new uh, nightstands new headboard that looks really good new pillow designs that they come with standard and so those will all be changes that you have for this year's model you also have an outlet down here as well on this side of the bed so you have various different outlets situations going on over here outlet on this side as well right down here so outlets galore, really, if you think about it, um, between having two USB ports, two outlets, two USB ports, two outlets, two outlets, two outlets, I guess that technically would be one outlet, but two plugs, if you know what I mean. So all that, pretty cool. This little pocket here that's sitting underneath the steps going up to the loft is where your washer dryer hookups will be. So this is going to have a spot for a combo washer dryer unit. And if you want the washer dryer, you have all the space in there to put a combo unit. If not, it is just really deep storage or a great hide and go seek hiding spot. So that is gonna be a pretty cool feature that you get there as well with this floor plan, having that set up right here in the bedroom. And then you have a full wall to wall wardrobe, really nice looking mirror setup that you have. Both of these are sliding doors. So they have that little latch, they will slide open and give you a full wall-to-wall -wall wardrobe space. 
all throughout there. Another outlet on this side as well. And then in addition to that wardrobe space, you have these drawers right here. So these will all be that size drawer for this top four. And then you have a big oversized drawer down here on the bottom, right there. For TV hookups, you do have a TV hookup spot on this wall. What I like about this is you could fit a really good sized TV on there. You don't need a super tiny TV. You could fit a pretty big one in that space. So I like that. As we lift up the bed, it will be strut assisted and you'll have your storage apartment underneath there. It looks really nice. You can see it's all kind of finished out through there. So it's not janky or anything and has a nice finish to it. This will just push back down. And then this does come with a memory foam type mattress. So it is an upgraded mattress that you get. I know most people replace the mattress anyways, but you do have that mattress there. And one last aspect to look at in this bedroom, you have magnet latches for your doors. So this is your door stop right there and it is a magnet catch on it. So when that links there, it is actually going to hold it in place. You can see here with my hand as I wiggle it around, it takes pressure to get it to disconnect. So that'll hold that door open and you have the same thing on your bathroom door as well, as well. Whoa, <laughs> said our whale. <laughs> but with your bathroom door, you have that latch right there that will also catch this as it opens. It obviously does have clearance to open all the way up and you will have that to catch right there. Well, I think and I hope that I touched on everything. So if there is something that I missed, let me know down below in the comments or spread that information for everybody else down there to check out. And then if you have information or are, sorry, are seeking information on this RV, looking to purchase something like this, my contact information is down below in the description. You can find a number to text or call me or my email so you can reach out to me in that way. It will also be at the end of the video as well. So you can contact me. If you do come into a Holiday World store, I want to help you all out. So I am in a position where I am in sales and can be your sales consultant when you come to the store. So whether you call Holiday World, come into Holiday World, I want to help you all out. So if you ask for me, just know that I will be here to help you out and I will do everything I can to help you find your next RV. So ask for me when you all come in. And that's pretty much all I got. Until next time, I'll see you all out camping.